First of all, what is this course all about? Drawing is a visual language. And in this course, I'm gonna teach you the grammar and the vocabulary that you need to communicate with pictures. You'll learn fundamental skills that carry over to every specialty, whether you plan on becoming a fine art painter, a concept artist, or a comic artist. This is the prerequisite course. It's heavy on information and projects. There's even two levels of projects, one for the absolute beginner and another for the intermediate folks who are here to review and polish their fundamentals. You'll be doing a lot of drawing, we're gonna make it fun, and of course I'll throw in a few not funny jokes in there. So we'll start by building habits to draw with good line quality. How to vary your lines to make your drawing more interesting and even suggest depth. Then we'll move on to shape. Shape is the main concept that communicates the subject that you're drawing. So it's important to understand how to design interesting and dynamic shapes and how to put shapes together to build your own characters and objects. We'll learn the basics of perspective and how to construct form. But don't worry, we're not gonna do any complex math or grid plotting just yet in this course. We'll learn how to intuitively draw things in perspective. And finally, we'll learn how to add lighting and shading to our drawings by controlling values and edges. So I hope you join me, get your foundation, and start learning how to draw anything, whether it's from photo reference or from imagination. That's over at proca.com slash drawing. Hey, Sam. Dude, you cut me off guard there. I didn't know what you were going to add. <laughs> I'm like right about to start. And then I see me pop up. I'm like, yeah, no, we, we went from past you to, to current you right now. Wonderful. Uh, so yeah. it's the last day of the summer sale today. Uh, I brought all of these people here to ask questions to you and to see a little oh, taste no. of the Drawing Basics course. Yeah. Are they going to ask scary questions? Probably. Yeah. Um, cool. Uh, well, what, what, I'm going to demonstrate. Question, what? There's already questions. Can I start demoing first? <laughs> no, 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 no. I was just going to tell them don't ask you to draw a kangaroo. Oh, no. No kangaroos today. Yeah, no. Just monkeys. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So what is it that you're going to be demoing today as part of Drawing Basics? Yeah. can You, you guys can see my monkey here, right? Now they can. Oh, no. Okay, good. Wonderful. There we go. Yeah. So I'm going to be doing this monkey. Um, I'm going to be focusing on simple shapes. So we In the basics course, we just started the, um, the shape section of the course, which personally is my favorite the fun one um we just finished line and with shape the thing i'm starting everybody off with is um trying to get the skill of simplifying shapes uh ingrained or or on the path to starting to practice that because simplifying shapes is one of the most important parts of shape you it's, it's really difficult to do really anything if you can't simplify or design shapes Mm -hmm. um and so in this demo i'm going to start off with analyzing the simple shapes of this monkey and then show how i would go beyond just observation and start playing with those shapes and designing them to make my own monkeys because that's kind of what why we why we draw right we want to make our own stuff yeah um yeah so the thing that this is from, this is actually the newest lesson, like you yeah. said, that, that's from the course, uh, which is currently on sale. It's 20% off, like pretty much everything on the site is right now. Um, mm -hmm. You just got to use that code kangaroo. Um, if you don't know what that's all about, um, don't look for it online. Yeah, don't worry, <laughs> don't worry about that. That's yeah. Just... Uh, so that, that code will work for brushes, like lanes that we that we had demoed earlier last week, um, other courses. Uh, just not the physical products or anything that's already on pre-sale. So um, this will also be available as a, v a VOD afterwards. So you guys can still go back and watch it if you really like the part that Stan went over. Um, if you see someone asking in the chat a question that's already been asked or if this will be a VOD, just go ahead and tell them for me. Please help me, guys. Because <laughs> otherwise, the half the stream is going to be me saying that. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I guess uh, for, with that, yeah. take it away, Stan. Sure. So what I'm doing here is I'm, I'm looking at the biggest shapes first. So the, the shape of the head, obviously, it's kind of rectangular with with rounded corners. So I'm going to start there. 
and then go inward. Um, the next shape I see inside, ignoring the features, is this like this big shape right here of the the eyes and the nose area, and it kind of includes the cheekbones. Mm -hmm. um, I, I just when I when I look at it, I see a very obvious rectangle there. It's just it's not always the case. Not every monkey or or character is going to have that shape, but just with this particular monkey, there is a very obvious rectangle there, and I'm I'm going to use it to my advantage. Um, and I'm right now. I am going more for accuracy rather than design. I don't want to push things too far because I'm studying the monkey. Um, but with shape, there's really there's two disciplines. There's two focuses that you need to train your mind with, uh, and that is accuracy and design. Those are two very they're like polar opposites of each other because accuracy is about capturing what you're seeing, whereas design is about changing things. It's mm -hmm. about manipulating and making things work with whatever situation you're it's just about making things look cool um whether it's accurate or not doesn't matter and both of those things are important to get good at whether you're going to be drawing from life from photo or if you're going to be drawing from imagination it doesn't matter because both of those are really important concepts to to get good at because um, even if you're drawing from imagination you if you're, if, you know, by the time you're good at drawing from imagination, you're still pulling from that memory of real life. So you're still kind of drawing from reference, really. And so accuracy at that point becomes like, how close am I getting to that thing that I remember that I studied, right? Like if I was to invent a human face, I can be more accurate with what human proportions are versus I could design and push things to just be more of something else. Um, like, you know, if you watch a Pixar animation there, they, they push things quite far from reality. So that's design versus accuracy. Um, so right now in this stage where I'm just trying to simplify, I'm going for accuracy. I'm not really designing. I'm simplifying, which is a little bit of design. There is design there, but it's really heavy balance on accuracy and a little bit of design. Okay, so the shapes I got, this kind of rounded rectangle, another rectangle in here, and then this big muzzle or the, the, yeah, the muzzle shape is kind of a triangle, also rounded corners, and it's like a bloated triangle. And that, actually, that's a, another important point. I'm not going with simple shapes like square, circle, triangle, like these geometric shapes. Sure, that's the simplest possible shapes you can go with, but you could go more organic, right? Like you you modify a triangle a little bit and like you know if i do this it's still a triangle right but it's it's bloated right here and it's kind of rounded off at this corner here it, it's not a perfect triangle i'm not trying to draw perfect geometric shapes i'm just trying to keep my shape simple but organic because if i make everything really geometric like that it kind of takes the life out of it <clears throat> Uh, organic shapes, um, they add more personality to it and they add movement and all that. But um, so, okay, I got three shapes so far and you can already kind of tell it's going to be a face, although I could probably make it into almost anything. I do think the reference kind of gives it away. Oh, is that it? Yeah. You, you guys know I'm drawing a monkey? <laughs> <laughs> Watch. It won't be a monkey. Um no, okay, so the next one, okay, the ears I think are a huge part of it. Like the ear here is pretty big. So I'm just gonna simplify that to an oval actually. I don't really know what the bottom of the ear looks like, but whatever, here's, actually I'm gonna lower it. There you go. Other side, can't see it as much. Monkey's turning to the right. Um. And then, so now I'm at. I have five shapes. I I can add the eyes. I can add a muzzle or a, a nose. Which the nose, I feel like anybody drawing the nose would probably overcomplicate it. But even there, you you got to try to figure out what is the simple shape here. And what I'm seeing is probably like a U shape here and another U shape here, and you get kind of like this crescent moon. And then, yeah, you got the split in the middle, but um, 
I, I'm not worried about those little details. I just want to capture those fewest shapes that I need in order to capture the effect that this is a monkey. And you'll see why I'm even doing this. Like the, simplifying isn't just to, it, it's not just to make things easier. There, there's a reason for it. Um, once I start iterating and designing my own monkeys, having figured out these simple shapes is going to be really important. Or it's going to help me to modify the shapes. All right, so circles. Stan, how important would you say it is to make um, like sound effects as you draw? Uh, it helps with, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I <can't> do <laughs> it, it's, it's very important. Why, <laughs> why do you ask? Do I do that? Oh yeah, all the time. Yeah, like oh yeah, like, 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 yeah. If if you're making like a circle, it's usually like shoo, 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 shoo. yeah, yeah. You got to give your shapes personality. I mean, shapes have you know the shape language. I guess I could go into that a little bit. Um, every shape or the way you design, which shapes you use in your design, has an effect on the emotional qualities or in the personality of the character you're designing like circles are very friendly they're safe they're they make things more cute and soft uh squares squares are going to be more like strong and stable and stubborn like you just can't move this thing and triangles are more energetic they're aggressive uh they imply more danger not always. These are, all, by the way, these are all things that are very general for the shapes. When you combine lots of shapes together, you can save lots of things. It's like with words, right? Context matters when you combine words. Shapes mm -hmm. are like words where they'll have their own kind of definition. But when you combine multiple shapes, you can make your own sentence with these shapes. Um, but generally, you know, you got uh, friendliness, strength and stability and energy and aggression um people did ask in the chat earlier and again what is your favorite shape my favorite shape we're doing the hard-hitting questions first my my favorite shape is like a is a bean oh you don't say yeah it's like a there's that shape the sound effects <laughs> <laughs> you're right i do it i didn't even notice <laughs> Is that the first time I did it today or did I today so I... far? Yeah. Okay. That's funny. Yeah. Here in the chat, I actually dropped uh, a little Proco <laughs> tutorial uh, about the robo bean. Yeah. This... But you know, it's not just about the, the, the body, like beans are everywhere there. It's a shape you can use. I'll be using a bean for one of my shape designs for the head today. Okay. We'll see. Right. The, when, you guys see the, when you guys see the bean, please call it out in the chat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It'll be very obvious. <laughs> um, so I could I could stop right there. That's enough shapes for me to to be like, that's a monkey. I could go into detail in the eyes, but whatever. Like, that's not the point of this part of it. I'm just trying to figure out what are these basic shapes. And what I figured out is that it's kind of rectangle, a triangle. I got a, another rectangle up here. I got two circles. And then I got these guys and then, you know you put the mouth in and then you got a monkey and then i got this little one for the nose in there but that's that's a detail um so okay cool i figured it out there's my those are the shapes i can play with so now what to do what to do let me organize this i need more i need more room um you and where are we positioned? Are we on the bottom left? Uh, yeah, yeah, we're on the bottom okay. left. Yeah, okay. you're doing well, perfectly right that. now. This is great. Uh, so right now I am conducting a poll for everyone in the chat asking what yeah. the best shape is. So far, circle is winning. Circle is the safest one. It's literally <laughs> about safety. So <laughs> you guys feel safe. I'm not surprised that they're going with the circle the safe option the shape is that that's that psychology at work yeah they don't want to choose triangle that's really dangerous <laughs> a dangerous option 
But is is Square the second second favorite at the moment? Let's find out. Square's last place, actually. Really? Yeah. Right, we no. Have a lot of aggressive people in the audience. <laughs> Uh, there, there's a question here uh, from Mark Stone. The class is in progress. If I enroll today, how do I catch up? Yeah, you want to answer okay. this one at all? Oh, um, well, we, curious. I, you'll have plenty of time to catch up. Because um, we, we, all we've all done is just the line section. There's 30 lessons in the line section. Um, and I put out like one, one to two lessons every week. Um, and then we have a bunch of time for people to do projects. I give people about a week to do projects. So if you spend a few days on each project instead of a week. Um, oh, and then after every project, I'll do demonstrations and critiques. So that gives you even more time. So if you just watch the critique immediately after you're done with a project, you're going to catch up. Yeah, there, there'll be plenty of time, mm -hmm. especially at this point where we're just on shape. We still have perspective and values and edges to go through. So much. So much. All right. So what shape should I go with for the next, for my like iteration step? Um, so I'm going to start playing with design. They, since they all voted for circle. For circle. Okay. Let's yeah. I think we already did this poll. Okay. All right. <laughs> circle it is. So let's, um, here's a circle. I don't like that circle. Let's do it again. So. Is that good enough? That's not a good enough circle. Let's do a better circle. All right. No, I don't like that circle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this for a while. Yeah. Did you do your ellipsis today? <laughs> no. This is my warm up. <laughs> I, I gotta do my my shoulder warm up practice. It's important, guys. This is what happens yeah. if you don't. It. I. So I recorded the. Uh, my uh, warm up exercise lesson on Friday, mm -hmm. which was uh, so every, in the course, I, I give out warm up exercises that you'll do before you start drawing sessions. And this one was circles. And I, I had to record like you know, hundreds of circles. And I realized like my my error rate when drawing circles is way too high to do <laughs> any kind of demonstration. Because <laughs> like, I would I would have to show uh, all the exercises where it's like, fill up a page of circles and then i would do it and there'd be like you know 30 percent of my circles are really bad and it's it's on camera and i'm like god how many times can i do like should i just keep redoing these pages because it takes you know like 10 minutes to fill a page of circles but anyway here's a here, this is decent enough whatever um so a circle for the head and then I'll just go with majority of just kind of circles in this one. You don't have to just go all circles, all squares, but let's just let's just go with like a a, a round design monkey. Um, this is probably if you just Google monkey, this is probably what you're gonna get monkey cartoon. Um, and since we're going round, and that's usually cute, I'll go also with just more baby proportions because I'm not just gonna change the shapes; I'm gonna change the proportions and bloat things a little more. So baby proportions means the top of the head is gonna be larger. So I'm gonna make this muzzle a little bit lower. Uh, let me actually move that over. Now for anyone in the chat who's thinking like, oh, he's cheating using uh, edit undo or anything. I guess it's Why just an cheating? eraser. It's just you an eraser. What? Why is that cheating? Anyway, I'm using my the tools to to their advantage. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Um, cheating with what? Like, are we playing a game or something? Are we can. I don't know. <laughs> Who am I competing against right now? <laughs> it's you. You're competing it's with me. You. Okay. Yeah. Well, I win. <laughs> <laughs> I win. You determine the rules. It works. Yeah. Um, um, while you're doing these circles, do you think you can take a couple questions? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. So there's a person who, um, I forgot, I didn't get the name for this one, um, but they were asking for advice on trying to fit their academic life with trying to still be able to draw. Do you have any suggestions for a person with a busy schedule? Academic life and drawing. Like non-artistic academic life, like you're in college yeah. and you're studying something totally different. See, they're, they're yeah. studying to be a doctor. Let's give them a oh, high paying well, career. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, some, some things are going to be harder than others. Like, 
you know, if you're, if you're, if you have pretty much no time for anything else, I, I don't know what else to tell you other than like you're going to sleep less. Um, and if it's really that important to you, you're just going to have to sacrifice something. <laughs> um, but if, if you're talking about like a normal healthy schedule of school and a normal amount of practice per week like you could totally fit that in like people go to college and then they party all the time as well right like they have enough time for that <laughs> they have enough <laughs> time for for dating and and doing all these other things um so you just have to make time for for these things that are important to you if you don't have enough time it just means you're prioritizing something else which is totally fine mm -hmm. um you don't have to draw but if it's really important to you, you you will find a way to add it to your schedule. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, just, as far as this it advice, goes. it's just prioritize. Like my advice is prioritize. Mm -hmm. Like figure out what you do every week, how much time you spend on these things, and then uh, figure out how do you want to change that. Mm -hmm. There, there were also a couple of people who were asking about brushes and things. For anyone who's curious, this particular brush that he's using right now is the Orbic brush, and I think it's something that just comes yeah. with Photoshop. It might um, be a Kyle no, Webster actually, brush. No, yeah, it does not come with Photoshop. No, um, I don't think so. Ooh, um, this is. I think it's a Lane Brown. Oh. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's. Yeah, it's in my Lane Brown Photoshop Master Pack. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, there is also a Proco pencil in that pack. <laughs> See, look at Proco pencil. Let's try it out. Very gritty, which is why I don't use it for for like just general sketching. Um, I think he he made it more like newsprint type stuff. But for yeah, even for small lines, you see they kind of a little bit broken up. I did modify his version to make it a little bit less noisy mm -hmm. while still keeping it as a Proco pencil. But anyway, I, I go to the Orbic one. Yeah, it's a great pencil. <laughs> yeah, I like the Orbic one. Um, and for anyone who's curious about other programs, Lane also has some brushes for Procreate there with that link that I dropped. Um, so you guys can use that promo code Kangaroo to get 20% off all of those as well. But don't worry, you don't have to buy the pencils to do all these demos that Santa's doing. Oh yeah, no. In fact, most of the, the course is uh, traditional drawing pencils. Like this is, I'm doing this digitally mainly because it's gonna be easier for a live stream. Mm -hmm. Makes more sense, but yeah, most of my demos in the course are traditional, mm -hmm. but they could be done with digital or traditional. It doesn't really matter. I'm not really teaching, uh, specific styles or um tools very much like the first section of the course like i went through the the basic tools for traditional uh, for beginners but but then every project that we work on every demo i do it could be done with whatever you want <laughs> yeah um so you were taking the shapes that you have mm -hmm. laid out as the things that are core to this face and trying to push and pull those um, how do you feel it's gone so far? It's pretty, it's all right. It's decent. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Like the whole point of this though, I'm not going to finish this. It's just, I'm trying to iterate. So I'm going to do as many as I can and then pick my favorite. Um, this guy is looking a little dopey. Like he, he looks like dizzy or something. So I'm actually just going to go with it. He's a little. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. No, this works. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. So there, there's my my cute little dude. So clearly, circles made him more cute and friendly, right? Yeah. Um. Whoops. After circle, triangle was the next most popular. Right. If you're moving on to the next one. Okay. Actually, okay. No, um. Do you do you want any any kind of input from the chat? Like, should they get to say anything sure. about like make it yeah. taller, make it wider, yeah. make it sure. different? 
yeah, this is we're we're playing here. So okay, absolutely. First one I see is the one that we're gonna go with. The first one, so whoever's yeah. faster. Yeah, he said Not, drunk. Okay. They said drunken monkey. Um, that's what I just did, or I think that's what that's they're saying there. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> they're on a delay, so it's a, it's, it's, a, it's, a it's like a a little kid who accidentally got into the the punch bowl or something. Yeah, <laughs> that's definitely that seems to be the consensus. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the first one we got here was angry. Way to go, Devin. Nailed it. Angry for the next one? Yep. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's definitely not okay. this one. So angry for, for triangles. Um, all right. So well then let's do more of a triangular. Triangular head shape. And then triangular muzzle. And there, here's the, this is the great thing about using simple shapes is I can get through it really quickly. And if I don't like it, I do another one, right? That mm -hmm. iterate, quick iteration is a big part of this. I do like the opposing shapes of the two different yeah. triangles. Well, look at what we just made here. <laughs> what is that, guys? <laughs> is that a bean? <laughs> oh, my God. Beans are everywhere. Yeah, but hey, look at we could we could play with this even simpler shape and make it more triangular. So like if I had done that, maybe that's more triangular. Should I do that? I should push I like I like the, the previous one. You don't want me to push this little corner? I don't know. They did say villain. That kind of has like Jafar energy. So maybe go with that. This the one I just modified? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, angry. Cause and then and then of course we're gonna have to you see this little little shape right here that I added for the in between. It's a very it's a small rhythm. I just kinda added that for the monkey. Um well he the, the, the photo has it, but I could make that much more aggressive. And in fact, if has anyone seen uh uh Little Mermaid yet? Like Ursula has this real intense design like it's it's pushed as far as you could probably push that triangle shape in between uh the eyes mm. yeah, like look it up or should i just do it <laughs> or you can you share your screen can you share my screen yeah look up ursula oh i, can, I can't add mine into it otherwise they oh. won't see yours yeah. yeah you guys all got google you're on things right here i'll show it how do i do like a it, oh, you guys can't see my yeah. No, my you browser. specifically okay. chose to do Photoshop. You can just copy a picture, drop All it right. in. Here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll I'll drop it in. Let's see. There is a good one. Uh, we do have one question here. A person was asking why you're drawing cartoons uh, if you draw realistic things so well. I like I like everything. <laughs> oh Jesus. Yeah, so anyway. for this one, um, drawing basics, the main thing that drawing basics is supposed to be doing is talking about the core concepts that apply to pretty much everything in drawing. Um, whether you're doing any different style of drawing, there are core tenets to that. Uh, and so showing them in the most simple way without getting bogged down in like rendering or anything like that seems like the easiest way to make sure everyone gets that in the most succinct way. Yeah. So there's Ursula. You I mean, you could look at that. Oh, I'm not drawing it. Okay. You can see that the triangles, the hair is wavy triangles. The the nose is kind of triangular. The lips have a lot of pointy parts to them. Um, she's not just triangles, right? Like she's got a rounded uh, jaw area and her body is a little more rounded. But she's got a lot of triangles. So, mm -hmm. um, but I'm going to steal a little bit of her shapes. And then you could, yeah, the triangles down here as well. All right. And then cheekbones also could be a little bit more triangular. But 
I'm battling. So I got lazy in the zoomy on right now. I don't know mm. if you guys know about this. It's it's up to way too high. I'm gonna drop it down. It's pretty nice for uh, if you want to like soften your lines. Like if if you draw and it's all wobbly all the time, this will help you out a little bit. But you don't get too used to it. You want to train your hand to draw, uh, you know, nice smooth lines. But um, it does help even if you're experienced. And but but the thing is, like sometimes you if you set it too high, it's just it changes your lines too much. And that's what I'm going with here is like when I draw a small line, it was just too slow and it was changing my lines too much. It works for the big ones, but all right, let's see. So I got these, these shapes for the inside. I'm still not happy with this middle part. Maybe I'm going too far into Ursula territory. Or maybe I'm just trying to get too detailed too fast. I think it might be that one. You haven't yeah. really established your baseline yet. Yeah, so really these shapes just don't map. They don't make sense yet. Yeah, I'll just go with the simple. Mm -hmm. um, right. So Jeff in here was asking, what's the the estimated duration for releasing new, les new lessons for the Drawing Basics course? Um, it Every week there's something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But typically what we'll, we'll do is this, the schedule we follow is like there will be a main like lecture lesson where I just drop a lot of theory, like simple, sh you know, drawing with simple shapes. And then the following week, I'll give you guys a project to work on, um, potentially a warm up or some bonus video of like based on some questions from the community. And then the week after that, I will show you how to do the project um, and then I'll critique it. And then we move on to the following lecture. And so it's kind of like a three week schedule of like big idea. And we move from lecture to project to demo to critique. And then I, I throw in bonus stuff in there just as I feel like it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that, that's kind of, th there's, there's plenty of stuff for you to do in there. Um, especially because I definitely want you guys to be putting it into practice, like um, trying to use it in your own um, in your own projects. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna freaking hide the, the or so I'm I'm like way too inspired <laughs> by. It. I should also have looked up Jafar. Yeah, this has definitely right got there. a lot more Jafar energy going on. Yeah. Um, and then, so even with the nose, let's, let's make it a little more triangular, this little shape, like bam, triangle. So every shape I had established here could be pushed to be a little bit more triangular, kind of like razor blade knives, you know, just more dangerous. Like we don't want to hang out with this person <laughs> or this monkey. <laughs> You keep this keep this little child monkey away from this Jafar monkey. And you could do like even the like the hair. Um, oh, the ears, of course, the ears. So the ears could be more pointy. Okay, okay. I think there's some good characteristics emerging here. <laughs> I'm trying. Here, hold on, hold on. I'm putting the nose way or the mouth way too low for him to be angry. He's he's gonna he has to snarl. All right, how's that? 
And then let's add some more. <laughs> All right. Iteration, guys. Iteration. I'm going into <laughs> kangaroo territory here. I got to stop myself. Yeah, remember that your first one isn't necessarily <laughs> the final one. Yeah. It's important to remember. But anyway, clearly angry, angry monkey. Let's let's move forward instead of trying to fix a broken one. Let's move on. Ah. That's triangle bean monkey. Triangle bean monkey. Um, there. So we, we have a few questions that are backed up here. Okay. Um, let's see. There's a recent one here that I think we're we're in a good spot for from Cade. Uh, right. It says, "What artists do you think have great shape design?" I think there's definitely some that you prefer for this. Oh yeah. There's a bunch. Um, Max Grecki. Um, God, I, for, I keep forgetting his name. Um, shoot. Steven, can you look into in the folder yeah. for the previous episode? I put his stuff in there. I, um, I knew which one you were going to go for. But yeah, Max yeah. Grecki as one that you like a whole lot. Yeah, and th this one I just discovered in very recent, that's why I don't know his name yet. But um, I think he's Ukrainian, actually, I think. Um, but yeah, look, look him up. <laughs> yeah. Um, Scott Flanders. I, mm -hmm. I, I love his shape design um, for concept art. It's great. So wait, are we doing squares? now is this is that the next where's the one that's left but if you feel really compelled to go back and do circle I mean, again that's okay i mean i could do another a triangle one but like less like a totally different approach like let's do a a non-villainous one is it i see julia I i'm gonna separate it julia? I'm, no. I'm, trying to, I'm trying to find these names here and i'm not finding it um is it Shane Olson? Shane's great. He, he does 3D stuff. Dude. No, go into the project one. Like the project. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. yeah. There we go. You guys are seeing the sausages get made right now, guys. The what get made? We're making a sausage. They're seeing the behind the scenes. Oh. Okay. This doesn't help. Oh, no. Uh, so is uh, Alexander Kato? Yes. That's the one. Yeah. I'll drop that name for you guys in here. Okay, so this one I'm going to go with the opposite. I'm going to go with like a uh, very, very small top part of the head. Can you move that over just a little bit? Oh, like, where is it? To the right. Yeah. Yeah, right here. There you go. Perfect. Okay. All right. There's a sound effect. That's, I think, three so far. Pew, pew, pew. Oh, dude, so many. <laughs> um, oh, you know what? Let's let's play around even more. Let's do like a. Uh, take these out beyond. on the head shape because when you're playing you could you you really just throw shapes in see what happens move them around do 10 more like that's the whole point of this part of it is to just do a bunch of bad ones mess them up and then you land on something good mm -hmm. and then you, you you explore that and then you keep going until you find the next path that works um yeah So I reversed that one. <laughs> don't know why. I actually don't like it. It'll look like a nose. Mm -hmm. um, while we're working on this one, <clears throat> I think uh, one person did ask for something that I think we'll queue up for the next one. Uh, and they asked for you to like break the rules, draw a monkey with a triangular face, but give it like a sweet vibe. Okay, I'll do with this one. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, <laughs> all right. It's so this is a, this is a triangle triangle face. I'll make them more more friendly. I mean, I'm gonna <laughs> see. I'm 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 kind of rounding off the triangles a little bit more though, right? Like this, it's not very aggressive. Like I'm not doing 
this sort of deal, right? Mm-hmm. It, it's I'm rounding it off. Oh, you could still do triangles, but I mean, if you go too far into just razor blades everywhere, it's like it's not going to be very sweet. Like, you know, you do have to put a little bit of softness into it for it to feel soft. Um, but let's see some some more triangles just so that we get enough triangles in there. Um, maybe we could do triangles in like the in the design of the hair. Sam, it's real quiet right now. Can you please add sound effects? Pew, 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 pew. Oh, no, they have to be contextual to the strokes, please. Uh, okay. Uh, pew. <laughs> 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 okay. Uh, so he's kind of sweet. Yeah, he looks kind of kind of friendly there. Yeah. Um, Can you give him like a, you know, like the... Little in raised inwards eyebrows. These ones? Yeah, the like curiosity eyebrows. Yeah. I can watch. I'll even make them little triangles. <laughs> I feel like the computer's starting to lag. Like I keep yeah. dropping the lazy Nazumi thing, but it's not yeah. helping it. I think it's just the so my strokes are lagging. It's kind of there's fun. definitely something. It's it's going a little slower and a little yeah. more jittery on this end. Something's up. Yeah, I don't know. It shouldn't be the feed from going to the stream, but that's the only thing basically running over there right now. So, <clears throat> uh, a person was was asking earlier. Uh, this was Toka. Um, mm -hmm. They're saying I'm a person who can go straight 15 hours drawing, and I usually give two hours each to a different basic. I only started learning to draw this year. Uh, is it a good idea to start learning to play with paint? Sure. If so, my my thing is like if you're really excited or interested in something, go for it. Um, even if it's too early, like I started painting when I was like 13, like way too early. If you think about like logic too much and be like yeah i probably should have studied the basics first blah blah, blah. but it's like no I, I was having fun and i was falling in love with the medium like that's worth it too mm -hmm. that, that's definitely worth your time if you're just enjoying what you're doing and you're excited about it you're going to learn more if you're doing stuff you're excited about mm -hmm. so if you're excited about learning to paint even if you're not ready just go paint yeah um, yeah and during our our last live stream that we had with dorian eaton he was talking about how um, learning to paint and learning to draw, they kind of each influenced each other. Mm -hmm. uh, so the, the concepts that he learned when he learned to paint after having done, spent so much time drawing um, kind of went backwards into his drawing skills when he was learning to paint. So they kind of build on each other. They do. Yeah, they all... <clears throat> Plus, like, when you when you are finally ready to paint, you're going you're gonna to start painting and then you're going to go through the same... Uh, the, the same things where the first time you learn it, you're going to miss 90% of it. Mm -hmm. And so you might as well do that stuff early on, right? Like get through that first phase of uh, painting when you're young. Um, and make all those mistakes early. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. If that made any sense <laughs> it does yeah no I, th I think that you like the the first few times that you try to learn something it doesn't necessarily all stick even a thing that you think you've mastered and that you're like gonna move on to the next thing if you were to revisit the Ooh. beginning of learning that i think that you gain some knowledge you, you finding some some uh play in the shapes that you're enjoying over yeah. there <laughs> how's this does this guy look good mm. this guy this guy. I liked it when it was just a little bit wider than it was. Yeah, I also liked it more wide. Like, looks more grandpa. -y. Yeah, that's kind of what my grandpa looks like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally. 
it looked like this. Uh, he, he actually had a very rectangular boxy head. Um, here, if I put him up here, is that still Yeah, no, this head? is perfect. Yeah. All right. More, 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 more. Let's see. Oh, let's do one with more bean. Let's do like, I mean, we kind of did the bean there, but I don't, I don't mm. know. I don't like that one at all, actually. That 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 villain guy just—he looks very angry and scary, but like, I wouldn't. <laughs> that's not a good character design. Okay, um, okay, that's the—I like I think people have said in the chat that they like that one a whole lot. Really? Okay. Yeah. No, <laughs> ah, that's a great one. I love that one. It's my favorite. Um, I think it's the eyes. Like things don't match. Like his eyes look lazy. Right. He's kind of like. Like he looks really tired, but then his, the other, like his brow and his mouth is like very angry. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It doesn't match, but yeah, whatever. like there's there's just a disconnect in how active each of those things is. Yeah, and the nose is like too far to the left, like the, mm -hmm. the nostril hole is too far. It just things are just not going right. But those are the details. That's the thing is like as a big shape, I think those actually really work. I just got really into the details on that one. Way I shouldn't have yet. Mm -hmm. um, it's a classic. Yeah. Let's go for like wide rectangle. Okay. Um, there, someone is, this was a uh, crazy arts said, if you're trying to draw cartoony animals or people, um, mm -hmm. how do you force the expression? I don't know um, if they're choosing to say like, how do you kind of like push the expression? Um, but I'm going to go ahead and say, this is probably them asking how they, you exaggerate the expression. Well, first you got, you have to understand the expression. <laughs> right yeah, anything that you are trying to exaggerate you have to understand what that is um like you know with caricature it's important to understand the anatomy of the face so that you could push things out of reality into certain things while keeping the structure of what it's supposed to be while modifying and distorting them so it's it's that balance of design and accuracy that i was talking about um you have to have a little bit of both you push the, you push the design too far out of reality and it just it breaks it it doesn't work anymore so you have to have some believability some reality still in there to ground it um and so expressions are that's another thing to study and understand how things work um like yeah yeah would be sloth in the chat said you gotta learn the rules before you break them yeah, that's true. Right. Yeah. Pushing things, designing, caricature, exaggeration, all that is breaking rules. You're breaking mm -hmm. from reality. And so, yeah, you got to learn what they are. I mean, you don't have to learn the rules to break them, but to break them successfully. Yes, you do need to to, to know mm -hmm. the rules or really understand them. And the, the more you understand them, the more successful you'll be at breaking them. Absolutely. Um, so just as a reminder to everyone here, the reason that we're joined here together today is because uh, we want to show off a little bit of what the Drawing Basics course is like, because right now it's on sale for 20% off, um, just like pretty much everything on the website is with that code kangaroo. Um, that's the code for unspecified, unknowable reasons that we won't go into. Oh, yeah. Nothing happened. Mm -mm. Uh, uh, yeah, rectangle. So I could, I could finally use like a strong rectangular brow man th this lag in the pencil i'm just gonna turn laziness gonna be off yeah get it out of there something about let me see yeah that does help actually <laughs> so it's combinations i think the there's a lag in the computer and then also just... but i dropped laziness Zoomy down to five man it shouldn't have been lagging Do people in the audience uh, use Lazy Nazumi? Someone popped for it when you mentioned it. Personally, yeah. I use Lazy Nazumi also. Um, yeah. I think especially, it's it's a big one that people use if they're trying to do comics to establish some quick guides for perspective. Um, but what do you guys feel in the chat? One person had definitely said, doesn't Photoshop just have a smoother in it? Kind of. Yes, it does. Like if you just, you know, if you do the uh, smoothing. Mm -hmm. Whoop but um <laughs> you're right <laughs> but 
the lazy nizumi is more than just smoothing there there's other stuff in there yeah it's great it's like like look at how many <laughs> like how much stuff there is it's it's deeper we than can't just... see that window at all oh yeah oh, so you, when you... i was when i was bringing it up you guys can see me modifying. no no you oh, you man. chose to specifically I, just show I photoshop keep for, <laughs> i keep forgetting that you know <laughs> um yeah I'm trying to do some rectangle eyes let's but I'm, I keep going, I keep complicating things. Mm -hmm. So I want to stick to big shapes, ooh, figure out ooh. the language. What, so what if, what if that, that big block that you've drawn right now, that's yeah. the, those are the eyelids? And yeah. So you just have, okay. And then you just yeah. have like the little mass that comes down and kind of like, goes oh, under it, the muzzle. Under it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So you got rectangle. Oh, no, no. You don't even need those. You just you just like split it clean in the middle where you have that that little loomis line. Yeah. Oh, the whole thing is one eyelid. Yeah. Oh, my God, you're brave. Yeah. Rectangle, so brave. baby. Damn, bro. <laughs> but that that's starting to look like brow ridge at that point. It doesn't look like lid. Yeah. Cartoon. So, I mean, I kind of have I'd have to like figure out what, what this stuff is over here. I guess we're this is... on the fly. What do, what do you guys think in the chat? This or change <laughs> it? I mean, I like what this is doing. It's just now the eyebrows don't work. Yeah. Um, this shape is very nice. I do like it. it yeah, I see, like, I, I imagine like some like giant, blocky, big, fat eyebrows obscuring most of those. If that is the brow. Yeah. Kind of yeah, like this the, guy, the old man from up. He's got these. He's a strong, strong boy. <laughs> He's a strong boy? He's a strong boy. <laughs> you kind of imagine him having like a little, a little top right here though. Mm, mm, like mm -hmm. something to balance it. Yeah. Because I mean, it doesn't have, his head doesn't have to be like a perfect rectangle. Yeah. It could just be rectangular. And then do, 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 do. Mana, mana. Mana, mana. <laughs> uh, um, so Zen here was asking if I'm 18 and want to start making comics and manga and only know how to draw heads and no basic anatomy, how long do you think it'll take to reach a somewhat professional level? Man, it depends on so many factors. It could take you another year. <laughs> it could take you five years. It could take you mm -hmm. ten years. It depends on so many things. It's hard to say. I don't. I don't like answering that question because if I'm wrong, then you're like, "Oh man, he lied to me." Yeah, but Proko's like, a what? butthole. He lied. <laughs> yeah, like no. It's just that it varies so much. I had, you know, when I was teaching at Watts, a, a physical school, there were people there that would, um, that were there for fifteen years. Mm -hmm. And they're moving very slowly. And then some kid would come in and he'd be there for two years and then he's off working. Like, <laughs> like it, it, it depends on you on so much. Mm -hmm. Like how dedicated are you? How much are you practicing? How smart are you practicing? Not just how hard, but also how fast do you learn? Um, how much are you following your, your strengths? You know, do you, work on your weaknesses do you or are you just reinforcing bad habits all the time because that's just a waste of time mm -hmm. like there's so much there's so many variables here to consider that i don't know it's um it's hard to answer that question with any kind of accuracy just from one sentence of context yeah it can take a while it can go really fast um like like stan said and sm like studying smarter is the important thing in there you can study as hard as you want but you might just end up burning yourself out do it the right way uh there was another name here uh i don't this is like a, this isn't cyrillic i can't i don't know this name um, yeah i'm gonna say the the names of the letters the cyrillic characters describe the characters <laughs> all right wait, i mean they all look like english yeah this well this one looks like kind of like map k-o-c with a dangle nap so is the n backwards <laughs> it's an m 
M? Yeah, looks like map. Oh, map. <laughs> and the A has a little thing over it, a little doobly doo. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Well. Yeah, I didn't think that was gonna work, Stan. Well, that's not. It's not Russian. I don't know, it looks weird. But uh, they said, uh, sorry for asking. I did comics, but now I want to go into digital painting. I was proposed to follow drawing basics, posture, human anatomy, digital painting, all in Proco. Um, yeah, do you agree great. with doing Whoever things in this order? Advice. Wait, sorry, give that order again? <laughs> <laughs> drawing oh, basics, posture, yeah? posture, human... Yeah, is I don't... That, is that a course? I, I don't know what that... I'm not mean. sure, but no, you should prioritize posture. Um uh, sure, like in your own the way you, you sit. Yeah, it's important. Yeah, that's true. No, he, <laughs> he means poses. He obviously yeah. means poses or she, but like human anatomy, digital oh, painting. I I bet posture just means figure the figure fundamentals course. Yeah, that's my guess. Because but yeah, that the, that course is much more than just poses though. Mm -hmm. it, it's about just the fundamental concepts to draw the body, like the bean, the robo bean balance. Um, uh, what else? Gesture it is, they said. Yeah, gesture, yeah, gesture was the big one. Yeah. The beginning. Uh, mannequinization, so building the body out of simple forms. Mm -hmm. We're not playing with forms here. We're just doing shapes. Absolutely. It's a big, it's a big difference. Um, is that, like, once you start getting to forms, it complicates things a little bit more. Like, I could take any of these and then start thinking about them three-dimensionally and going deeper, but the design needs to start two-dimensionally. Very simple. Mm -hmm. Um Let's see. Should I push it more wait. somehow? Should I feel like? Wait. Oh yeah. Wait, real, real quick. Do you yeah, yeah, do you agree quick. with that order? Uh, basics, basics, figure anatomy, figure anatomy, digital painting. What's the goal? Um, they said they want to go into digital painting. Oh, I would start digital painting a lot earlier than that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Where, so I mean, where do you want to drop that? You want to drop that um, before anatomy, drawing basics. I would say, yeah, drawing basics mm -hmm. and then digital basics or figure fundamentals, mm -hmm. either together or one of them. That anatomy should not come before digital basics. If if what you're trying to mm -hmm. do is draw digital illustrations or whatever, you 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 don't need to start learning anatomy uh, before you start exploring a tool. Because digital is just a tool. It's not, you're not going to learn any new, like, fundamental concepts that are going to transform the way you draw. Um, like, you could do the entire drawing basics course digitally, right? So the, the digital, sorry, the digital course goes beyond just the fundamentals. Like, John goes into actual illustration concepts to show you how to, like, get good illustrations. The first part of the course is a lot about teaching Photoshop and how digital programs work. So that's the part that you need to do quickly. Like you, you can learn that very quickly. It doesn't take much practice to understand how layers work in Photoshop, right? So you could take some of those lessons and then apply all that to the digital basics or the, sorry, the drawing basics course. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you were asking about... Uh, if you should push something a little bit more. Yeah, should I? I feel like I'm not pushing enough on all these designs. I'm getting a little bored, I guess. <laughs> what would you want to push more? Like, I don't what, know. what is it that you think you're getting bored with? I don't know. Let me just let me just go crazy. Someone was asking for you to like uh, flip it around. I think that the exercise is to have you playing with the the shape of the reference. Here, oh, there. I like that shape. Okay. That's interesting. So it's a triangle, but I'm going more organic. Um, it's definitely not the same as the reference. Um, da, 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 da. Okay. Okay. I like this little mouth shape right now. Little yeah. character. I like this guy. He's got a big jaw. This feels like um, feels like 
Scott Flanders energy. Scott Flanders, like his body type. Yeah, this, this looks like Scott. <laughs> Why? I don't know. I mean, he is. This, this is the Rorschach test. Dude. The faces. He's a big guy, but I'm thinking Homer Simpson. That's that's kind of what it felt like to me when I got this muzzle in there. Mm, that's this fair. Feels very Homer, but yeah, I mean, obviously the top of the head is. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Homer Simpson done. There he is. Uh, Is this conehead too much though? I don't. I like it. Yeah. And yeah, like like if you had like um like continued that kind of like a teardrop kind of shape for the eyes a little bit. But what what about these ears? What what are the ears that you think come from this? Yeah, I just put it on a different layer so I could overlap if I want to. I'm I'm not sure about the ears. They could either be big, mm -hmm. right, and it'll make his eyes look smaller in comparison. Yeah, absolutely. Right? Um, and then eyebrows should be real small. Uh, or I could go little ears, and that'll be more like Homer Simpson. You can get little. <laughs> That's more caveman. Because the big ears also make him a little bit more childish. So I actually yeah. don't like. I, I don't like the the big ears actually. Okay. It does Out of not the ones that the vibe that. Out of the it. ones that you have so far, which which of these would you like to take into that next step of refining them a little bit more? They can still be the one you're working on right now, obviously. But <laughs> I think, think I want to do more. I'm not like completely into any of these. I don't know if I have to go with one. What time is it? Do I have uh, to right now, one? we're an hour in. We're an hour in. Yeah, yeah I, I think I'll do one more after this. And I'll, I'll let's vote. What's what's the vibe? We should go with the next one after I'm done with this Homer one. But what do you, um, what kind of uh, words do you want me to pull for? I have any ideas? Okay. Just, <laughs> just throw throw ideas, people. Everybody, just okay. what kind of character should this next one be? Is it your guys' chance? Actually. The eyes could be even smaller, just dots. Yeah, he doesn't really need that rectangle shape for the eyes. And then... eh, doesn't hurt. The, the suggestions are rolling in. Okay. He uh, does look a little too human, though. Like this doesn't. Look yeah, I much. think you, you got to give him some of those other characteristics. Yeah. Someone called out the the missing kind of like win face window in there. Yeah, that that's the thing. I just mm -hmm. putting in there, like the little muzzle. Yeah, the the tiny ears though that really takes it away from monkey. Um, I need some more hair. That'll definitely make it more monkey. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Look, and this is only further Scott. That's a beard. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You're going to have to pay Scott royalties for this stream. Okay. <laughs> okay. So. I have a few. Uh, Evan really freaking wants you to do hippie. He's just spamming the chat with hippie, 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 hippie. hippie. Yeah. Um, but no, we've got crazy one. A lot of things for magic or um, like a wizard monkey. Uh, chunky monkey. Chunky. Sad or melancholic. Chunky uh, long, long face with banana. Alien. Oh. Long face with banana. Yeah, these are good. Alien. Uh, samurai monkey I've been coming through with another hippie man what would hippie look like headband I think it would be Willie Nelson basically oh so we're going with accessories yeah in my mind a lot of these are accessory based I mean yeah. they, they called out him having a banana in a couple of these yeah I'm going let's stick to basic shape design here for just like 
I mean, Chunky Monkey. What was the other one? It was the Banana Monkey. Uh, cra- a Crazy Monkey, Magic Powers, Hippie, Chunky Monkey, Sad, Long Face with Banana, and Alien. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, I'm going to try Chunky Monkey real quick. Okay. You just pull out like a carton of the ice cream. What? It's a Ben and Jerry's flavor, I believe. <laughs> oh, I'm not going for that. Let's do <laughs> Chunky. Uh, we got George here in the chat asking, uh, where can we find this pencil style brush? This is the Orbic pencil from Lane Brown's Master Brush Pack. Yeah. You can find that on Proco. Where right now everything is on sale for 20% off in the very last day of the summer sale. And did I segue into the suggestion? Is this is this chunky monkey? I don't know, man. <laughs> I'm just exploring shapes. This looks like a bear. <laughs> this is just like it a does. bear. It it's does. Just a bear. Is it, uh, Aaron Blaze has some questions. Yeah. Aaron Blaze has a question? Yeah. What's Aaron Blaze isn't here. No. Yeah, I know. <laughs> He's got stuff to do. That's true. Uh, I think, I'm going to uh, go with it and see if I could actually make it not look like a bear, but I, I feel like I've just... I brought into bear territory. No, you could you could whip this around. You could yeah. this could be uh those could be those little sides on an orangutan's face. Yeah. Yeah, let's potato monkey. They're saying in the chat. I guess it's kind of monkey. No, this guy's good. I like this. I like, like the like, far out ears. Okay. Yeah, it's got like a little bit of like a, what's it, the, is that a, like a marmoset? Uh, I no, don't know. That. What's like, those little dudes that just look terrified. <laughs> yeah, 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 I know. <clears throat> yeah, there's some, here, actually, here, let me look one up. There's, there's a monkey type that I... How do you guys feel about this one? Is this, is the chunky monkey solid so far? It was the fastest one I did. <laughs> Sometimes that happens. But... Uh, Caden in the chat saying that's a chunky monkey. Uh, a chunky monkey for sure. <laughs> Hamster monkey. Hamster monkey. While Stan's looking up some stuff here, um, there was... Uh, someone was asking, uh, what course do you recommend for a seven-year-old child? Which course do you sell that we could start with? The, the Drawing Basics course. Yeah. The yeah. Drawing Basics course, <laughs> it, it doesn't have any nudity. And, uh, like, I'm specifically making sure that, like, it's good for any beginner that wants to start drawing. Um, and it's very fun. I do a lot of character stuff in there, like like this. Um, but we will get to more and more realistic stuff as we get into like shading. It's a balance between design and accuracy. So like we do stuff like this where we're designing and pulling characters, but then the next lesson after this is going to be, um, practicing accurate proportions from reference. Mm -hmm. So training your, your mind to see and execute exactly what you're, what's, what's in front of you. Um, so we're balancing out because all, all these different skills are really important for artists to have. Uh, but yeah, I'm making sure that I'm keeping it very approachable for, for whether you're a kid or an adult. Where is that one I saw? Probably won't be able to I find don't know. It. It's like uh, it's this monkey that has this like really long s- snout. It's not. It's it's a totally different species. But, mm. um, there was a Felicia stuttered here ooh. in the chat. Um, they asked, "How do you stop bad habits from forming?" Um, I think one thing for that identifying them exactly. Yeah, just be yeah. conscious of the things that you're doing. If you see yourself getting 
caught up. Like you go to draw a hand and every single time you're giving them like banana fingers um, just because it's easier and you're doing it because you do it. Ask why. Yeah. the One big thing about that though is that, like you need sometimes somebody to identify it for you. Mm -hmm. we, we could be kind of blind to our habits. That's why they become habits is we don't realize we're doing that. Mm -hmm. So that's the importance of either a mentor or a good community where you can get feedback and people can tell you that stuff. If people um, wanted a good art community, Stan, where do you think that they should go? Uh, my favorite's like Twitter. Twitter's got a good community. Mm -hmm. Nice friendly for art. <laughs> yeah, real yeah. friendly people there. Yeah. Um, but no, uh, yeah. <laughs> no, right, on Proco.co, of course. Yeah, on Proco, there's the, the community boards. Um, people are really kind in there. They're pretty good about offering... Uh, helpful critiques uh even if you're asking for them sometimes if you're not you'll still get a little bit of a critique um but yeah people are really good in there you can share your references you can even use the proco website as your kind of like a casual portfolio if you don't want to have your stuff uh scraped by ai uh for art station or anything like that um it's a good for place art station? yeah art well art station uh their stuff is uh prone to being scraped yeah I mean, Proko, we did some anyway, things to cool. specifically work against that. Uh, yes, we just we have the uh, the no the no AI um, tag. Mm -hmm. As long as they, someone chooses people can to still scrape in that. People can still scrape. It's just that we ask them not to. We ask them not to. <laughs> so. Yeah, Sammy. Uh, the the people ask for a Discord a lot. It's not since we already have the actual boards there that's kind of a better thing for us to have than to work with some other company to use something that they can just take away any day. Uh, if yeah, Discord decides to change our, something suddenly. The whole point of for the Proco website is we have all that community stuff built into our platform. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, if Discord decides to change something like they just did with the usernames, where suddenly everyone has to change their username, um, and not use the system that they were already using, we don't have to worry about that. We have our own that will only change if we ever choose to change it. And we only add to things. We don't take anything away. Is this the kind of banana monkey you guys were thinking of? They said with a banana. Oh, with a banana? Yeah. But hey, listen, if, if, you, if, you feel, here, guys. if you're feeling inspired to make I'm it like... look like a banana, go for it. Follow yeah, that's what I thought. Thing. I was like, banana monkey. <laughs> oh man <laughs> i was like this is kind of a banana ish monkey <laughs> he's, got, he's got bloated banana on top um i don't know it <laughs> <laughs> they really threw you for a loop there huh yeah how far towards banana can i push it without just like it looking ridiculous probably not too far what if you draw the banana first and then kit bash it into the monkey? Well, I don't know. You think that would work? Yeah, I think so. I think yeah. If you like the the little hair hair tufts on the side, that's the peel being like coming away from the the shape of the banana. Oh yeah, the this could be just hair. Uh huh. This is so dumb. I'm definitely not choosing this one. This is just... what guys. I really tried to make him have to do the, the banana monkey. He didn't go for it. Um, there, there's a person in here not even at, looking like a monkey. Uh, Adam Lowell is currently going through this lesson in the course right now, uh, yeah. and they're asking how do they keep their drawing from looking so flat when they're using basic shapes. Well, why why do you want it to not look flat? If you're if you think that your drawing is maybe boring because it's flat, that might mean that your shapes just aren't interesting enough, and you got to play with your shapes a little bit more. Um, but you don't they don't need to look three dimensional. Um, that's kind of the whole point. This we're we're learning to simplify and design. Mm -hmm. Um. So yeah, if you start, what's the word I'm looking for? 
if if you start going towards 3D to make it look more sophisticated, more complicated, and, and try to kind of save your drawing from not working as simple two-dimensional shapes, then you're starting to form bad habits of not designing good shapes from the beginning. Um, I'm going to, this monkey's really dumb. <laughs> banana, I, it's not working. Like I, we could probably play with banana monkey shapes for, for half an hour and make it work, but no, yeah, I agree. I agree. <laughs> Let's uh, just not do this. Choose, choose your battles. Yeah. Okay. You want to vote? Yeah, my, I guess let's see here. Would my you personal pick, favorite, pick a couple that... my personal favorite was the chunky monkey at the very end there. Okay, okay. I, I like the chunky monkey. I like this 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 squared off monkey dude. Um I think the villain monkey has potential if I go and like fix a bunch of stuff. Um the round monkey's fine, but it's just very predictable. It's like, yeah, monkey, circle monkey. Okay, so what um, we have here so far is Chunky Monkey, Square Monkey, Villain Monkey. Uh, okay. How about Scott Flanders Monkey? Do you want to add that one in? No, I'm not excited about okay. it. Okay, all right. <laughs> so we're, we're going to stick with just these three, and we'll let them choose which one gets finished. I really hope it's Chunky Monkey. <laughs> I'm like, I want to go in there. and. I'm also like, with you on this one. Yeah. I'm going to make this it, poll so short, guys. Yeah, just, someone just say Chunky Monkey, and we'll stop it right there. <laughs> there we go 100 percent for chunky 100%? monkey oh man <laughs> i only let one vote get through i did it that's perfect thank you one thank you guys so much <laughs> we're so bad <laughs> it, this is a true democracy <laughs> well listen we had an open vote and this is what happened yeah <laughs> okay um, so for this next stage, the thing that you're doing is taking w the one sketch uh, and then trying to take that to the next steps. What will those be for you? Um, I'm just going to I'm going to make it a little bit lower transparency, draw over it, try to see what I could do with some details mm -hmm. um, to not break the design. And then I'll I'll go and kind of like clean it up a little bit, because what we got was like thirty minutes, 20, forty. We yeah, got, we got, we got forty five minutes. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll see. We'll see how far I take it. Chat feels betrayed. Why? <laughs> oh, because of the we, vote. We because our our sham election. <laughs> hey. <laughs> no, I, I I think they'll they'll enjoy this uh, chunky monkey, <laughs> rip square monkey. They said. Yeah, you'll get a better drawing if I'm excited about it. <laughs> All right. Hmm. I do like the like stiletto mask kind of look of the. You like the mask? Uh, yeah, like the the way that, that looks, it's good. Okay. So, I'm trying to figure out if I were to change anything. I don't know if I want to even change it. Am I just gonna draw over it? I don't know. It's I think um draw over it. Yeah, this way you can kind of like add in some line weight if you choose, you know. Yeah. We'll see if complexity like I'm just I'm adding a little bit of complexity in there to see if it if it helps at all. Got some little anatomy bits in there around the neck folds. Just a little bit. Some little like uh, Witch of the Waste energy for the Studio Ghibli people out there. Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Someone was asking about the uh, paper texture. Where did you get that from? Uh, you could talk about it. That's your idea. <laughs> I mean, I love it. This yeah. is, what's the website called? This is uh, texturelabs.org. Texture uh, Brady over yeah. there does great work. He's got a Patreon that he had posted a bunch of like uh, Photoshop tutorials and stuff with just the best free textures. Yeah. And this is kind of like a, I, I took his texture, which is black and white and very contrasty. And I just did a color burn over an orange, I think. And then I flatten that and then I use it for some of my textures sometimes. Mm -hmm. Or I use it for my, like my base.
Okay, uh, someone here was asking about the tablet model that you're using. Oh. Uh, this is a Cintiq. I believe it's a 24. Yeah, it, it's a 24 or a 22. I don't remember. Oh, yeah, that's right. I think. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's, a, it, it's a Wacom Cintiq. Yeah, it's um, a little bit older of one. Not one of their crazy new ones. Which, by the way, we're getting the new one today. It's true. It's true. Wacom is sending us there. I'm I'm very excited about that one. Yeah, me too. Uh, let's see. You, so you guys are kind of uh, slowing down a little bit about the questions in the chat. He'll be noodling away at this thing for the next forty minutes. So let's let's uh, get some questions in here. I do like the, the like the like, intense expression right now. Yeah. Like what what um what is this monkey looking at, guys? Wrong oh, answer. Man. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna filter myself. <laughs> I'll let the audience decide. These are indeed Lane Brown's brushes. This is the. Are you still on the Orbit pencil right now? I am still okay. on the Orbit pencil. Yeah. I'm gonna. I might switch to an ink. Probably also a Lane Brown ink. But right now it is the Orbic pencil. Uh from Lane Brown's pack, which, by the way, you can get on Proko.com. <laughs> if you were looking to buy a, a, a brush pack right now, one of this, these Lane Brown brush packs, wow. yeah. it's 20% off right now with code kangaroo on Proko.com. That's the thing that brings us here today. Today is the last day of the sale. If you it want is. it, get in now. You want to get anything on Proko.com 20% off? There. Except the Marvel course, which is already 20% off because it's yeah. on pre-sale. Yeah, when we were posting stuff about it, I just sometimes was like, "Yeah, everything's twenty percent off. Like this is easier." I like those shapes. I do like the the cheekbone here. Where I don't know where you're pointing. The well, the only cheekbone that we can see. This guy. Yeah, it's okay. good. That feels realistic. Like that's yeah. actually like a chunky monkey chunky cheekbone. Chunky. Whoop. Should he have? Uh hair like or is he maybe just like a little just tough, more like rolls like a, just a little tough like at like the like a little bit overlapping here just and there like, just yeah. like little indications like that yeah all right all right so some of the things that people are saying this guy looked at was a really bad car crash um the cat in the hat movie He's watching the cat. In the hat. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Your um, your kangaroo drawing. My kangaroo. Drawing. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, here we go. Cade coming through with the best one. He's looking at the summer sale discounts. Uh... Oh, uh, yeah. This. <laughs> Thanks, Fat Matt. Uh, just... Proko search history. <laughs> what? <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, let's see what else we got. Yeah, honestly, actually, if you guys know anyone who who draws or does any sort of art professionally or just often, their Google searches for reference are gonna be weird. Are mine weird? What do I? Uh, listen, what I'm not. I'm not gonna dox your Google searches on here. <laughs> what? <is that>? Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> um, Carl Plesner in the chat here is asking how would the marvel art of stella Ste fool how would the marvel art of storytelling course work for people brand new to drawing how would it work yeah do you it's, think that it's it would not work for people brand new it's not for for those people <laughs> it, it's not a beginner course because it you go into it assuming that you understand the basics of drawing uh we don't we don't teach uh like gesture and all that stuff in there we, we it's like once you know that once you've like taking my figure course and you want to go into <laughs> comics um or really any kind of storytelling medium you take this course <laughs> mm -hmm. but it, it's not like a figure drawing plus comics kind of course it's it's very specialized yeah it like it's it's great for a person who's already familiar with drawing and looking to do something specific with that skill. Ah. Ah. <laughs> ah. 
right. I don't know how I feel about the little um the lines around the yeah the, the side window. lines right here. Yeah, they feel like yeah. a suggestion of crow's feet. I I I also wasn't sure, but I'm leaving them in for now. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, no, no, gotta look straight. Carl, um, Carl's asking as a follow up. Uh, drawing basics is the best place to start. If you're an absolute beginner, I think so. How do you feel, Stan? It what? What? Um, Carl, the person who was asking about the Marvel course, um, they were asking if drawing basics is the best place to start. Then, for a beginner, yeah, yeah, that's that's the place to go. Mm -hmm. uh, a different, a fraudulent Skelly in the chat uh, is asking: Is the Marvel course the same one on New Masters Academy? No, no. certainly not um Same. yeah no this this is a brand new its own thing it's just the biggest thing that we could possibly have put together to collaborate with anybody else um it's in depth got actual marvel, well, talking about marvel course not I yeah so. I they were talking about uh basic drama basic. no 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 yeah no marvel this course. this is this is actually a collaboration between proco and marvel mm -hmm. yeah this is very much its own thing. Um, it's basically the first time that they've gotten to actually do yeah. this, uh, like a full course since Stanley did this on VHS tapes. Mm -hmm. I feel um, very honored. Absolutely. Um, the, the last Jess, the promo code for everything on the website right now is kangaroo. Uh, it's okay. If you can't remember it, by the time you get over to the website, it'll just be posted, like pasted on the top, on the sides of the website and everything. You just head over to Proco.com, try to grab what you want, and then you'll be reminded of the vet all along the way. I don't know, man. I feel like I liked the simplicity. I'll do a little bit of cheekbone, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but it was too much. Like when I went back to this original, mm -hmm. I really like the simplicity there. So I'm gonna get rid of some of that cheekbone. So for the the main purpose of this exercise, like you had said in the beginning, is to break down those basic things that make that character or that reference, like the things that are just the core principles of that. And yeah. then push and pull those things around to invent your own character or just to have like a different study of that. Well, yeah, the reason you want to simplify in the very beginning to figure out what the, those core few shapes are is so that you can iterate quickly mm -hmm. after that. Like I simplified it down to like eight shapes and then I can play by distorting those eight shapes and figuring out different personality types for this monkey very very quickly i could do 20 of them in half an hour if i wasn't demoing mm -hmm. you know like i could be like oh here's a shape and here's a shape and then there's another one and uh, monkey <laughs> <laughs> like it's a monkey like I, it's the <laughs> shape but it's still a monkey right like that's how quickly you can iterate once you figure out those very basic shapes you can do that with any animal um any kind of creature or whatever mm -hmm. but you have to identify those basic shapes in order to really start playing with um with them because if you're drawing all the the details every time you try a new new idea it's just going to take you too long to get through so many ideas mm -hmm. there was one here I'm trying to find that thing they're basically asking um yeah. How would you modify this to take those core shapes and change the perspective or anything like that? Yeah. So that's the great thing about it is that if you design with very simple shapes, it's a lot easier to then take them into 3D and to design different poses because or different angles and different poses because it's easy to manipulate basic shapes. Mm -hmm. um, the more I complicate it, the more challenging it becomes to look at it from a different angle. Um, and even if I add complexity to it, if I know what the underlying basic shape is, I can always start with that for a different angle and then add the complexity on top again. 
but it's really important to understand the basic shapes underneath. Yeah. I think that's, a, that's the, the core tenet of a lot of art study in general. I think, I think for anatomy or anything like that, it's that idea. It's just yeah. something where you're hyper-focused on like learning what the, the medial epicondyle, you know, <laughs> rather than just like triangle in the face. Medial epicondyle is not in the face. <laughs> what you no, 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 not at all. <laughs> not at all. Yeah. And you would know that if you took if you took anatomy, anatomy <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, there was one person in the chat here asking, um, they were wondering what your biggest art weakness is. Just having too many strengths, <laughs> not knowing what to really play up. <laughs> <laughs> My biggest uh, weakness is that I'm just too strong. Yeah. I make other people feel weak. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. My, I have a horrible memory. Generally, like not just with visual memory, but like just in general, I have a really bad memory. Um, I'm good at problem solving, but I'm bad at memorizing things. Mm. And so I'm, I have a hard time building up a really large visual library um you know like when you see people like you know kim jong Gi, peter han carl kapinski they'll just like start drawing and they pull from their visual memory all these details and i have a hard time doing that so mm -hmm. um i can't remember stuff <laughs> <laughs> sad no i think that's fair and that's sad. that's a big one too especially if you're trying to um draw oh, on the angry. <laughs> oh, that's not angry. oh actually wait does that work that's not terrible actually it, it's kind of like a oh huh. it's like um wait is it it's got it's got jonah hill I specifically from uh super bad energy yeah let me see if i Let's vote. Mouth open or just closed? More, more like neutral. Okay. Because it does change the expression. It makes him even more surprised a little bit, right? Yeah, I agree. It, well, I, honestly, dude, I like that one. I, I, like I, I started a poll, but that looks great. I like that little suggestion of the like the tooth line in there. You guys got to come through and say open, okay? I mean, we could we could have another fake election. I mean, they're already doing the thing. Uh, numbers going up. The numbers going 58, up. 58. We're already influencing the results. So good. <laughs> open. All right, I'm about to close it. Get your votes in. All right, that's it. It's the all mouth right. open? Open, yeah. All right, all right. 67%. Thank okay. you, guys. Um. All right. Well, we got a little chunky monkey. I don't know. Is there anything bothering people? Because I might be a little bit blind to some things right now. Mm, economy. I don't know. It's not strong at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. If, if you guys have any issues with the drawing right now, um, that's kind of sticking out to you. Drop it in the chat. They'll be yeah, on a little bit. Because I'm delay. moving on to the next stage. So if <laughs> there's something really terribly wrong here, I'm not going to be able to fix it. Mm hmm. John says, make him a pirate. This is John Burchall. Does he look like a pirate? Oh, he says, make him a pirate. This guy's got pirate vibes? Um, I don't... Listen, so I'm would I give him an eye patch? I feel like that'll take away from the, like, the uh, the staring... What is it, what is that called? That, like... Well, like the, like the ten, like million mile stare kind of thing? Yeah. What is that? Um... What what if you just like you know throw a little hook hand on there that's poking up, done pirate a hook hand. John, John's happy done. A little, <laughs> just done. like a little, yay nailed it pirate yeah there you go John <laughs> yeah <laughs> I do I thought the exact same thing they call it out they said uh, SME yeah what is it uh, from um, Peter Pan.
Is there a character that looks like this? I mean, Smee is kind of a... He's, 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 he's a, a, a chunky monkey guy. Let me look him up. S-M-E-E? -E? Yeah. I think. It might be Shmee. I don't remember. Shmee? But yeah, he's... Oh, he's, Mr. Smee. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's what his name is? Yeah. Okay. He's the guy that does the, the great little shaving scene. Well, he doesn't look like a pirate. <laughs> no, no, no. Not at all. No, this like, is, If I just take his head, he doesn't look like a pirate. You've already done plenty for this pirate thing. He's got you, like you you gained so much on. with this hook hand. Pirate achieved. Yeah. Control Z that, that pirate hand away. Let's go to the next stage here. Okay. People haven't really uh put out any big things here. There's some suggestions. Oh wait, here we go. Well, one person saying ears too thick. The ear, like this the lobe part right here. Oh, oh now he's got earrings on the pirate. Top. John nailed it, he knew. Yeah. Should I should I give him? The, yeah, they just say are perhaps too thick for a monkey. Do you guys mean like the actual like like um overall like density of the thing, or do you mean the line weight? Oh, yeah, the line weight's gonna change. But you know, he's there. I mean, he's chunky. <laughs> That's the point. That's famously the first part of you that gets big if you like <laughs> if you start eating too much. The ears, yeah. first thing to go. The ears. Yeah. It's pure sarcasm. That's not. It's not oh. real. No. Oh, like he's still a monkey. <laughs> <laughs> Should I make it clear that this guy's a monkey? He's got Nailed banana. It. That's the best drawing of the whole stream. <laughs> and he's a pirate. Um. So we we have one here. This one, Noah Ruff, coming in with an actual critique. Um. The overlap of the ear on the left is a bit strange for three quarter. Yeah, I you mean that. like yeah, you mean that like the ear is behind the 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 the, uh, the head. <laughs> yeah, I think they think that it should be yeah in a little bit more. Yeah, like less of it should be showing. Wait, less of the ear? Yeah, I think. Um, correct me if I'm wrong here. Noah Ruff, come into the chat. Elaborate. Uh, but he no, said I the think, overlap of the I ear think, on the left is a bit strange for a three quarter. I think he means. This. You mean that year? Well, you said left. That's the left side, right? Or yeah, I'm, I, his left. I, I know. Yeah, I never know if they mean like like stage left or screen left or what what they mean. Yeah, because like that would be more correct. Because mm -hmm. it would be on the side on this whole side plane. You got the ear coming in and starting right here, right? Mm -hmm. And I I had put it behind, which yeah. puts the ears all the way back. Yeah, this was supposed to be a product of the big cheeks, right? Yeah, I'm kind of, I'm trying to exaggerate the big cheeks. Um, uh, yeah, there you go. So you said, yeah, uh, no, I was just thinking the ear on screen left should overlap the cheek. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Now nah, he, he's right. <laughs> he's right. I hate you. If, you. if you guys want more critiques like that, come join the Proco community. Proco.com slash community. You can find You're out what's doing wrong. doing great, Steven. I'm doing great. <laughs> um, man. Do I keep it? We're here in the last 20 minutes of this stream. What do, what do you think are the, the next steps for this? Yeah, I could I could overlap it just a little bit. Okay. But it okay. does lose some of that, doesn't it? So the quality of the cheek. I don't know. I think that like even though it is just lines right now, I think that there is still... Like you kind of fill it in. Your brain does a good job of yeah. telling you that there should be something there that's overlapping this. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna do this. I'll do like a subtle thing. Whatever. Okay. Let's um do a clean ink over it. I'm gonna go light again. New layer. Um. Which brush should I use? You gonna go hard round mode? Uh, so it's not pencils. <laughs> I think I got. Let me see if I have a pre-made one already. Can't tail dirty. What's this dirty? I forgot what this is. Oh, dirty ink. No. <laughs> I think it's my favorite part of the stream right now. It's boring. Picking brush, Picking brush. sketch <laughs> No, God, it's on my my real computer. 
is a illusory computer. Yeah, this is this is just like this. No, all right, I gotta go to his. All right, while Stan does this, um, you guys in the chat, let me know what what is the what are the hobbies outside of art that you guys do to make sure that you guys come back to art with new references and new energy. Sometimes I think it's really important to kind of combine your hobbies. Like, what, what do you guys do for fun? But yeah, uh, Midnight Dreams. No, we don't actually stream that often. Um, and then you asked, Is any chance that Draftsman will get a reboot, even with a different co-host? I got good news for you. Draftsman episodes still come out. We just well, had one where Stan was talking too. Jeff yeah, Locke. but you know, it, it's yeah, like no, no. very so that, rare. It's, yeah. That's a reboot, baby. I think the hmm brush. We're, okay. we're, do, we're doing the like the um the like a the bbc miniseries approach to draftsman you know like micro seasons of just like a couple episodes at a time i like this one or not what is this brush that you're using currently uh -huh. no okay it's the literally it's called hmm <laughs> is this in the is this in the lane brush pack yeah it is okay Okay. And it's, it is one of my favorites. Uh, so for hobbies, we got playing video games, buying art materials. That's a time-tested one. Uh, eat. This monkey agrees. Um, hiking. Strongman. Tim just strongmans as a hobby. That's nuts. If that's actually what you mean, dang. Um, exercise and going to museums. It's a great one. Mm. Back on. Got a few others. Gardening, hunting aliens. Godspeed. Good luck. Um, rock climbing and drawing climbers. See, that's a good way to combine those hobbies. Watching animated movies. And people are now, they're, they're saying that they miss Marshall. I miss Marshall too. Yeah. I got good news on that front also though. Because that perspective course is looking good. And just about done. It's dude, don't say that. <laughs> I'm gonna no, curse it. I, I, I'm serious. Don't say it. Okay. No, <laughs> it I never said not. it, guys. Strike it don't from the record. Yeah. It is looking real good, though. Yeah, but, you know, is it? <laughs> uh, I liked it. I saw, I saw Hannah editing it earlier. It was good. Well, yeah, it's, it's moving along, but it's not almost done. It's important to keep this perspective course in perspective. I understand. Yes. Okay, so what are you doing right now? What what I'm do you think? Cleaning it up. I is don't this... know. I'm not sure what kind of final image I'm even going for here. Okay. Are you going to color this at all? Like even like flats? Maybe I might flat it. Okay. How much time do I have? Five, right now we got about 15 minutes. All right. Let's, Unless you decide well, to run over. No. Ten stuff. years later. <laughs> um. These are good hobbies you guys have here. You know what I think has really caused the issue here, Stan? What? There's a supreme lack of sound effects. Uh, but the hmm brush is so... It's, it's already a sound effect? Mm, yeah. This looks really good. Can you zoom in a little bit on this one? What? Like... Would you be uh, confident in still being able to get the line quality that you want with the little zoom in? Like that? Yeah. All right. I want to see some of the rest texture in there. Okay. <laughs> Lane is in the chat saying, hey, Stan, you need to update the brush pack. Thank I know. Lane. Lane, I'm sorry. Lane. <laughs> This is the one you sent me like last year. <laughs> Wait, is, is the hmm brush better? <laughs> wow. Lane, I know. I could just go to Pro.com and get it for 20% off. <laughs> With code kangaroo. I'm just, times are tough, man. I can't. Oh, man. Thank you, Lane. Thank you. Yeah. Yep. 
this is a great opportunity for you, Lane. What's the difference between this old version I have? Mm-hmm. Give the dissertation. Yeah. Yep. Yep. How's that for sound effects? That's yep. good. I'm like, wait, can you hit that one again? It was I, I talked over you. Yep. There you go. Yeah. Um. You know what? For those eyes, I'm gonna cheat. Make people angry. Yeah. Oh, you're gonna copy yeah. paste? No, I'm gonna use this lazy Mizumi. Do you guys see this? No, we cannot. You don't? Anything. I could have cheated and nobody would have known. Nobody would have known oh at God. all. Wait, you you actually can't see the circle overlay right now? No, you you are only showing the Photoshop window. I'm in the Photoshop window right now. Yeah, but, but that is being overlaid in UI for you. Yeah, but I didn't know that it was actually not. Yeah, I mean, I guess it makes sense. Okay. Well, anyway, nothing's going on. I'm just, I just <laughs> am really good at drawing circles perfectly. Like, just, just like one clean, like, boom, you know, like, I've been practicing my circles for a while. Hmm. And I just, look at just, that. Just like that, I can. Shoo. Yeah. Wonderful. That's how I do it. Uh, so Lane giving some context on my basis, name. Of course. You could be just as good as me with circles. <laughs> uh, Lane coming through with some context about the name of this. Uh, it took a lot of time to come up with brush names. So I would just write hmm when developing them. So does the hmm brush not exist anymore? No, it probably does, but it probably has a name. No, oh, man. <laughs> I'm never going to remember it. I want the hmm brush. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Wait, what's the hmm brush in the new pack? I don't I know. just promoted the hmm brush, and everyone's gonna look for it. People need yeah. to know. Yeah, Lane's saying that the finished brush pack is better organized than what you see here, especially the inks. This is a terrible demo for this. You guys should go watch Lane's live stream uh, yeah, a couple absolutely. days ago absolutely. to see <laughs> going into these. Yeah. Uh, wait, can you bring up that brush panel real quick? Yeah, hold on. And sh okay. show a little bit of the shape, Lane. Maybe you can identify what this brush might actually be called hold for on, anyone who really I'm... wants it. Okay. There. There you go. <laughs> if anyone is buying the brush pack based on uh, Stan's strong demo of it today. Yeah. If you can help them with what brush this name is. I mean, it's... It's right next to the great, great ink need name brush. What's the one after that? <laughs> yeah, great that's ink. That's great probably ink also. Name. Uh, and then, hmm, and what's the one after yeah. that? I seriously thought that Lane was being like real smart about it. Like, <laughs> great ink need name. I love that. <laughs> you sort of kept it, man. Great ink need name. Wait, how, <laughs> is that a good one? I mean, Lane thought it was great. So let's see yeah, how it's it great. Goes. Ooh, yeah, great. Look at the look at the tilt in there too. Look at that. Shoo. That is nice. Can you switch over? Sure. Or do you like him better? Do you like him better? No, which which what about you? Oh, this is good. It's a little this one's a little more gritty. Okay. Okay. Um I'll just switch back to him. Okay. Alright, so what what do you um Let's say if you're gonna just do like a, a quick pass of flats after you do these lines, Here, let me, what do you think yeah, is the most important finish. thing? I'm gonna, I'm gonna speed through this because we really don't have much time left. Yeah, we got 10 minutes left in All this right, Proco speed. Summer Sale 20% off celebration extravaganza stream. Okay. So let's just let's just speed through it. Let's trust the process. We already figured out the shapes. Don't need to reinvent anything. Mm-hmm. Sound effects. Yep. <clears throat> okay, I just like these characteristics right now. I like the like the darker brow right now. Uh-huh. This works. Now, the way that you're drawing the, the hair in there, you're going to draw the suggestion of that and then cut into it with the eraser? Or do you think the, I don't know. the line overlap is good? I'm in a hurry now. Okay. <laughs> I'm 
I'm just going to, I'm trying to get to the flats. So, so yeah, uh, in the chat, someone puts uh, like a, a meme reference. Um, but what do you guys think this guy's actual name is? All right. Help us name this chunky monkey. Chunky monkey. Um, for Le Fay Noir, why is the code kangaroo Australian theme? Uh, no, there was a uh, like a a ten line pile up that happened one time a long time ago during a Proco live stream uh, that resulted in a not kangaroo. Uh, I did a live stream where I was trying <laughs> to sh demonstrate how to uh, draw from imagination, and uh, it went, didn't go right. Yeah. There's some good memes about it out there. Uh what color should this guy be? Just Oh, I don't. Yeah, no, like follow your heart. Test follow it out. My heart? And then... Should I just should I just go crazy? Try just like do do your flat and then just like just hue shift it into the right space. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. Pink. I'm okay with this. This isn't bad. <laughs> People are like, what? No, I'm, I'm, listen, I'm okay with this. This is that, like, bape energy. The bape energy? Bape. Bathe and ape. Fashion mm -hmm. brand. Some hype beast nonsense. Uh, someone here said gray. I'm not against that. Gray? Yeah. Whoa, whoa what did I do? You Wait, control how, did I just, how did I just do that? Control Y? You're right. Yeah. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> I was like, I'm brilliant. I just, I know how to make it gray just with one button. <laughs> yeah, I tried to press control U. All right. So you're, you're, you're really saying gray? What? They said gray. We, the what? suggestions we have here are gray. Uh, one person saying that's pink. I would agree. It's a little more purple to me. Uh, do pink and yeah, blue? Yeah, no, no, no. Pink, pink, pink is not. Yeah. Um, uh, um, you guys seen know. anything you like? Tell me you want to stop. I don't. I, they're not going to be able to give you the fast turnaround <laughs> time. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> they're all like, stop, stop. <laughs> um, no, I think the the one that's probably the the most applicable, like the actual most actionable one, is pink and blue, because that gives you two colors to actually use for this. Yeah, we're going with this one. Okay. <laughs> uh, so we got some names here. Uh, God. Okay, I'm going to read some of these because none of these are actually hitting me like they're like nonsense, like internet things where you guys are just going to have me say some like vaguely racist meme. So I'm going to read these. What? Um, so we got Chad, uh, Boko, Boko I like, <laughs> um, Bill, Bill, uh, Marcos. Oh, I don't know why I'm so. I'm, I just do this. <clears throat> peach. Uh, someone's saying peach for a color. Peach. I don't know. I don't, out of all these names, uh, I like Boko the best. How do you feel about Boko? Bo the name a name for the this monkey? Yeah. Sure. Why why Boko? I don't know. He just looks like like it reading the name Boko, I kind of imagine him like wearing like a too small tuxedo and he's like balancing on a ball in a circus. What about Moko? Yeah, no, actually that's perfect. Like, like the a loco, loco like moco. the hair gel. The moco de gorilla. Loco Moko. Yeah. So we're, we're loco going with Moco. Proco. Huh? We're going with Moko? I don't know. It means no, booger in Spanish. That means booger in Spanish. Moco? Yeah. Oh. Well, maybe that's good. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Let's go with Moko. His name is Moko. Moko. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I have enough time to really do a good... Uh... No, no, no. This this is a uh, rapid prototyping phase for colors. You got five minutes left in this Proco summer sale, 20% off extravaganza. Um, To kind of... <laughs> like the overlap right now. Um, this one? 
<laughs> yeah, like the overlap. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, the whole thing that, that brought us here today for this uh, stream is to show a little bit of one of the much shorter than what this stream is lessons uh, from the Drawing Basics course. Um, because drawing, right, right now the Drawing Basics course is on sale for 20% off with that code kangaroo on proco.com. Um, if it's after today, it's probably not on sale for 20% off with this coupon code because today is the last day of that sale. But there might be a different sale or something else going on with it. So go check it out, broco.com slash drawing. Yeah. So uh, how, how many uh, more little hits of color do you want to put in here? Before we just end it? No, before you show what got us to this. What do you mean? The backtrack a little bit. Show some of those basic forms that we started oh. with. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this flat's just not working. I don't have enough time to make it work. There's three minutes left. Anyway, yeah. he's he's just a red red monkey now. Yeah. It just it actually just looks better if I just go back to <laughs> this guy. <laughs> so there's my final. <laughs> Perfect. I love it so much. <laughs> yeah. Solid. John, you got what you wanted. You got your pirate monkey. Actually, what if I just give this guy just a little bit? No, it doesn't overlap. There, pirate monkey. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So if we backtrack, what I did. Uh, there. What I did was I started with identifying. Oh, my goodness. By identifying the the simple shapes of this monkey. Mm -hmm. So I, I simplified it to one, two, three, four, five, five big shapes, and then one, two, three, four tiny shapes just for the features, right? Eyes, nose, mouth. But there, even those are still very, very simple. You got a crescent moon, a circle, circle, and just like a line. Um, so very, very few shapes to indicate what this monkey is, how, how we can reconstruct this monkey. And then I went through and just started using those same, the same structure, but morphing those shapes into different shapes. So a, a circle for the head, and you got this big box for the, that contains the eyes, you got the muzzle, the ears, and then just, you know, a little bit of personality to these little detail shapes. Mm -hmm. Same thing here, starting boxy, still got the muzzle, still got this stuff. And just messing with it until I landed on this guy. The Chunky Monkey. Chunky Monkey. And I thought that was great. And uh, so then we just uh, went to this Chunky Monkey. So there's mm -hmm. my character. And if I were to take him further, I would do pretty much what... Uh, what is it? Alexander Yara? What? What's his name? Shoot. The guy oh, who I don't know. The one we mentioned in the beginning. Oh, oh, I, really here, I, I still got that. I still got that. Yeah, yeah. yeah Alexander, Alexander Kada. Kada. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I would look up his little cute. Here, let me just pull one up. Stan's gonna bring up these guys for you guys. I really like his his character designs. Absolutely. It's very simple. It goes well with what I just did today. Um. I don't know why I just shared my Photoshop screen because I could yeah. be showing you literally everything. I was, I was wondering if you were going to like copy the image and drop it into Photoshop. I will, but oh my God. This stuff isn't working. I clicked on his Instagram and Instagram's broken. Oh, yeah, because you're not logged into anything. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> and print screen doesn't work, so I can't just like quickly. Yeah. Uh, oh, this one. Oh my God. This is so good. What? Oh my God, look at this, guys. Here. Look at that. So imagine if I take my lines and then just flat it like this with really soft gradations across things. Um, that's how I would take it to finish. But um, mm -hmm. look at his shape design, right? Like he, he pretty much, I think he does a very similar process. I don't know, I don't know him, but um, if I were to guess, his original sketches probably start with something like this. 
Just like your good old basic forms. Yeah. I can't see my brush anymore. <laughs> oh, he probably started with like this bean for this guy, right? For this body. It's just a bean with a bunch of details. This is an upside down triangle with rounded corners. Then you got little triangles here. You got ovals here. Um, the mouth is like a crescent moon. You got a little nose. Another bean for the tongue. Just a very squashed bean. And you got this uh, this character figured out. Mm -hmm. Right? Basic shapes. And then you go on top and you add all those little details that make it really interesting. And you get that. But without this being interesting, those details will not save it, right? He does a really good job of adding details that um, accentuate and make those simple forms even better. So that is actually that's a really good skill, and that's difficult to do as well. But step one is you got to make sure those basic shapes are interesting. Like mm -hmm. that to me is really exciting. Like just these this combination of really simple shapes is already dynamic and very interesting to look at um so that's kind of the goal that's what i try to do with when i'm designing little cute little cartoon things yeah. um when i'm doing more realistic figure drawing it's a similar approach just the balance between accuracy and design is shifted much closer to accuracy and less towards design today you saw me just pushing things as far as i could I could have pushed it much further. I, I sh you should probably try to push it much further, and then you'll get more stuff like what Alexander's doing. But um, when I'm doing figure drawing, I'm still designing a little bit. I'm still trying to get interesting shapes, make them dynamic, but I'm rooting them into that accuracy a lot more. Mm -hmm. So, but in order to be able to exaggerate subtly. You do need to practice exaggerating more. Um, like Norman Rockwell is a really good example where his stuff still looks very real, very believable, but he's got like 20% uh, caricature in all his shapes. He's designing them towards this while kind of tuning it back a little bit. Mm -hmm. So anyway, okay. I think that's it. That's all I got. Yeah. All right. I'm going to take away your Photoshop screen. It's just you and me now. Yeah, let um, me end it there. There you go. So what? just as a reminder to everyone again, there's a sale on Proco. Today is the last day for it. It's 20% off. Uh, just use code kangaroo. If you can't remember that, just head over to proco.com slash drawing for the basics course. And you'll see what that promo code is posted all around the sides of the website. Stan, is there anything that you want to say to people before we end this stream? No. Thank you guys for joining. Mm -hmm. It was fun. Yeah. Go out there. Do some yeah. exercises. For drawing. <laughs> Go out to get fit. <laughs> Have a good one, everybody. All right. Bye.